Hi everyone, welcome to day 16th of my 30 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. So today we'll be solving TikTok data analyst interview question that was asked to one of my followers. So this is the question, find the median within a series of numbers in SQL. So we need to find the median of a number of number series in SQL. So I have created the table to basically show you and practice it. So this is the table we have and that the data points that we have 100, 800, 350, 150, 600, 700 and 700 and uh, 950. So basically we have total 8 records. Out of these 8 records we need to find the median of this series. So if you do not know what is median, median is basically finding the middle point of a data you know, points. So let's say we have a data like 1, 2, 3, 3, then 4 then 5 now we have this 5 data points and if we want to find the median, uh, median of this series it's going to be like the middle numbers that is going to be the median now if I just go ahead and add like an, a number like let's say 8 here so to find the median again it's not going to be this 3 because we need to first sort this data in ascending order so we will sort like 1 then it's going to be next number is going to be uh, 3 then it's going to be 4 then it's going to be 5 then it's going to be 8 so this time the median is going to be this 4 so basically median is not the average or mean the median is the middle point that segregate the data in two parts now if we have one more numbers like in this if we have one more number that is 9 so now this time we have like you know even numbers series is even series now to find the median this time instead of because we do not have one number in the middle right so what we can do we can select this two and take average of these two numbers like we can simply divide two uh, some of this number divide two and that's how we'll be getting median for even series you basically sum the middle two data points and divide it by the 12 so let's go ahead and see how we can solve it in the sql so this is the data we have first we need to sort the data so we will be using order by their column name is views so i'll use views so now we can see the data is sorted so one is the smaller one is coming on the top so 1 115 350 600 700 700 800 950 so now we have eight records right so in this eight records so median is median is going to be like this one right the four and fifth one which is going to be sum of 600 and sum of 700 that is going to be 1300 and divided by 12 so 650 is going to be the median of this series so let's see how we can you know solve this problem using sql so uh let's go ahead and use a row number to you know solve this problem so we can go ahead and say that this time instead of all i'll just select as a view so view the column names which i'm selecting then i'm selecting row number I'm going to explain like how this row number is going to work row number then I'm going to use our clause and inside the row number I'll use order by views ascending order and I'll name it as rn ascending so I'll use one more row number this time this time I'll order it by the views in descending order descending order I'll name it as D E S C descending I'll just remove this comma so now if I just go ahead and I'll just comment it for now so now if I just go ahead and you know run this query so you'll be able to see what I have done basically I have first sorted the data so I've selected like 1 150 350 so I've sorted the data then I have given a row number which is in ascending order because I have sorted the data in ascending order so obviously the small number will come on the top and that will get the row number one then the second number which is the second you know smallest number is going to get row number two so this is how it's going to give a number this row number function the first window function is going to give a row number to each records of the data from starting from one and it will goes up to the total number which is eight records now in descending order what will happen the smallest number will come will get the highest you know descending order number which is eight then the second number is going to get the seven so now how do you find the middle point of this data so what we will be using as we know like this two right these two records are basically going to be if i just take an average of these two record like if i take a sum of these two record and divide by 12 so that's going to be the median like as we have checked that is 650 right so now in the data we need to basically make a function that's going to basically sum this data and divide it by the two or maybe that's going to take an average of this 
two data point and that's going to be basically our median so we'll be using a ct for that that's going to be common table expressions to basically you know solve this so we'll go ahead and give it a name add with cte which is the table name and that's going to be s so i'm just going to name you know give it as cte so let me just reorder the table so now uh, to basically find the median what we can do like see now we know that this is a small data point now we know that this is the median right which is because this is the event series so we need to basically take an average of this two data point if you say if i minus this and this this should be like you know that's going to be minus one right now if i minus this one by this one this is also going to be minus one now if i minus this one six by uh, three that's not going to be like one right so what i'm trying to explain let me just show you okay so what i will say first select the views and i'll just name it as take the average of the views and name it as median from CTE basically from this table I'm just taking the average of these views so average all these columns now I'll be using a filter to basically select the specific row like now I only want to take the average of these two you know rows that's how basically going to be you know our median right so these two rows if I take an average of these two rows that's going to be 1300 divided by 2 so that's 6.650 uh, that's going to be our median so what I'm saying where first select the average of views so average of all everything in this you know table then i'm filtering out instead of selecting all just select these two column so how do you select these two column as we see there is a similar pat pattern that we have that means if one column if i minus one column by another column the difference should be minus one the difference should be one basically so if i minus this by this the difference should be one so it could be one or minus one so i'll be using absolute you know uh, basically uh, functions to basically select one so if the dis difference between these two columns like if i minus one column by another column if the difference is one that is going to be the row number that i am asking my you know this query to select then take a average of that this two th those two data point that's how we'll be finding the median so uh, let me just go ahead and show you so rn so where i'm saying rn ascending minus rn des descending right so i'm saying rn ascending minus descending then i'll use the apps function here absolute so just to convert the negative number into positive or positive number into positive basically so if it's going to be if this returns a negative number it's going to convert into a positive now i'm saying if the difference between the first column and the second column and that is going to be one or minus one then select those row number and take the average of those you know two data points and that's how we will be getting basically median of this series so let me just go ahead and you know run it let me just show you now you can see the median of this series is going to be 650 as we have discussed earlier because out of 1300 if you divide it by 2 it's going to be 650 so this is going to be fine this is going to you know work and solve the problem now the point is that if in our data points we have total record that is going to be 8 we have 8 records which is an even number that's the reason we're just selecting the middle 2 point and dividing it by the 12 or taking average of middle 2 you know data point what if our data points contain like you know only like let's say 7 records so which is an odd number so in case of odd number we know that we simply select the uh, the middle number that's first we sort the number then we select the middle number that's going to be our median right in case of odd number so now what we can do we can basically little bit you know add these conditions and we can say simply such uh, for this median we, if you just say so let me just go ahead and you know say that I want to remove this one right then I will see like what is going to be the median so let's go ahead and do that first if I just add aware conditions here So where I'll say that now I want views which is less than 900 okay so basically I'm just eliminating this you know last uh, a, a record number so I'm saying that select all those record where the views is like less than 900 so now that's going to be like total uh, it's going to return our only seven you know records if I just show you for example let me just go ahead and show you 
I on average so let me just show this one only instead of now you can see that we have total seven records this time because I have just filtered out one data point and now we have seven records now in this seven records uh, we know that the middle number that is going to be our median so first I have sorted the you know it's already sorted so that the data are already sorted so we will need to simply select the middle number which is this one like if you just go ahead and see one two three four we have seven records so this one is going to be our median right which is 600 so now how can you find it you can simply just say that the middle one the middle number is going to be like this one so if you just find it in the formula it's going to be like n if we just say n divided by 2 and plus 1 okay so n basically the number of data point that we have which is 7 so if i just go ahead and say 7 plus 1 divided by 2 if i just do it it's going to be 4 right 7 plus 1 is 8 I just say 7 plus 1 is 8 divided by 2 is going to be 4 so basically the fourth row the fourth row is our median right which is this one now in this query that we have uh, written earlier so we can just simply add one more conditions here now you can see if you just divide one column which is this one row number ascending minus row number descending you will see the value is coming zero right so what we can say instead of like defining simple equals to one you can say that it's should be uh, less than equals to one so i mean this is going to be less than equals to one so if it's less than equals to one that should basically give us the result let's go ahead and see yeah so this is now giving us the median so what we're saying basically we're handling both a type of data even if i just this time if i just remove it right so this is going to work for finding median for the even number as well and if i just uh, go ahead and you know add it again so this query is going to find the median for the odd number as well also so what i am basically doing here i'm just saying that okay hey just first minus the row number one uh, first minus the row number ascending by row number descending and whatever the value is coming if it is like you know less than and less than equals to one then that is going to be our you know median and then basically take an average of that right so let's just go ahead and see it again let me just explain it so that it's get more clear so now what i'm saying that okay so here for first find the you know row number ascending minus row number descending right and if this is going to be less than equals to one right so let's see where we have the it's less than equals to one if i just go ahead and see now if i just minus this one which is this one right the fourth uh, row that we have if i minus this ascending minus descending which is four minus four that's going to be zero right that's coming under this condition which is less than equals to zeros uh, less than equals to one which is coming less than equals to one right because zero is uh, smaller than one now this is the one conditions now the second when we have like you know the number that is even number see in the even number if i just go ahead and you know show you it again like the main table now this is the even table we have eight records in the even table we know that the median is going to be this one this two data point and their average if i take their average that's going to be the median so now what the second so this also says that the second condition which is which says that so if i do row number ascending minus row number descending and that is basically less than or equals to one so when it is going to fulfill one right so now for example this time it's going to see this four minus five that's going to be one right so this is full selecting this one now if i just say five minus four that's going to be one when it says less than equals to one so let's see which are the column that's actually falling under this you know filter so this one the fourth if you see four minus five that's going to be one because i'm selecting only the absolute values so even if it is negative one it is going to convert into positive so that is one so we are selecting this column right then the second column we are checking for the second column if i just say five minus four right five minus four that is also one and uh, even if it is minus one is converting into you know in absolute values and then that is basically coming at then positive one so that's we're selecting these two columns so now these two columns are basically giving me if i minus from this one to this one it's giving me one now if i just minus this one three minus six that's going to be three right so that's not coming under this filter so basically we're not going to select that now if i just minus one minus eight that's going to be seven so we're not selecting that so we're only selecting where this 
so if i minus row number ascending minus row number descending so that should be giving us value either uh, either zero let me just go ahead and show you either should be either we will be getting a zero or we are getting one so if it is a zero or one then we are selecting those two right and they taking their average in this you know column so i'm asking just take it take a average of uh, this row that is this filter is going to select so this time this filter is going to select this two uh, record which is this one and this one and if i take a average of these two records so obviously average is going to be like total which is 1300 divided by 2 so that is going to be our median which is 650 now if i just add go ahead and you know remove this uh, you know and add a filter to select only seven data point which is going to be odd numbers now if i just go ahead and run it again now you can see it's going to select 600 the reason why it is going to select 600 let me just show you again so now if you have seven records so out of seven records we know that the middle point is going to be this one because the data is already sorted which is going to be 600 so how we are defining in filter to select only this one because in filter we are saying if the difference between the row number ascending and row number descending is either zero or one then only select that uh, data like whatever the columns are there select all those data and take a average so now if you see this query now this one which is going to be 4 minus 4 is going to be how much it's going to be 0 right so we are selecting this this column now if i just say 3 minus 5 that's going to be 2 so that's not going to select because we only want either if it is 0 or 1 then only we want to select that now if i just do go ahead and this one as well 5 minus 3 that's going to be 2 so i'm not selecting that so in case of even number we are only selecting one column one rows which is going to be this one and if i take average of one right average of one number that's going to be basically the same number itself so if you just take average of 200 average of 200 divided by if i just take average of 200 divided by how many numbers we have in this one right so it's going to be 200 only right so if i just go ahead and say average of 200 plus 300 that's going to be two number now here so so it's going to be 500 divided by two that's going to be 250 right 250 is the average so this is how we are basically solving this question this is a little bit complicated question so i would request just to download this data set if you want to practice and uh, practice it once or twice you will understand uh, the you know concept behind it and this is very practical questions most of the interview you know you can expect like this type of questions and this very recent that i've got this request yesterday uh, in my you know comments in my instagram page where uh, one of my you know followers uh, requested that uh, she was recently asked these questions so she asked like if i could have you know uh, like show her how we can solve this kind of problems so that's it for this video if you really like my content do subscribe to my channel and if you want to practice the same i'm going to attach a link in the descriptions so that you can go ahead and download and practice it and i'm also going to add my this uh, solutions at the end so if you get stuck then you can just refer to this have a good day take care bye bye